there's that old saying, you become the average of the people you spend most time with. Yeah. Do you believe that? Or do you believe that has a, a kind of an influence and the people you surround yourself with? I think so. Yeah. I think, to, I think definitely to some extent. Um, for negative or for positive. Mm -hmm. I grew up around, everybody took heroin. We drank special brewing tenants out of a can and we were living in squats and stuff. I mean, so you, you're around that and it seems normal. And my life's so different now, but yet it seemed normal then. It didn't seem like it was you, you were down on your uppers or anything like that. You either become the leader, that's the point. So I didn't become the people I hung around with, ironically. Right. I didn't become, I did for a short while and then it's like, no, actually I want to become some, something different. So then you do seek out, I suppose consciously or subconsciously, you do seek out, whether it's in a seminar environment, like something like a, what I call a Tony Robbins concert, which is what it is, <laughs> and you get just caught in with that. One main thing, if you got, uh, if all of your group of people down there are the, are, are, are negative, negative people, dementors I call them, you know, oh it looks like it's going to be a nice day and they say yeah but it looks like it's going to rain, you're like freaking <laughs> shut up and you just go, it's, it's not just being positive all the time, it's just not being around negative people, you know, these people that suck the joy from life just because, why, why, you've got a choice today to go to go things, be, I'm not saying be happy all the time, no one's happy all the time, but just like be positive. Like, like almost like the Americans. Give an idea to the American, they'll, they'll tell you within five minutes why it's a great idea, why you're the best person to do it, and why we should get it done tomorrow morning. Give the same, per, same idea to an English person, they get, or a British person, they're gonna go, well, it's a shit idea, and you're definitely not the person to make it happen. And if you're constantly surrounding these people, then you're not gonna do it, you're not gonna write a book, you're not gonna expand your circle, you're not gonna do a screenplay, you're not gonna travel the world, you're not gonna make a difference, you're not gonna, whatever it is that you want to do. And also, a lot of people around don't want you to do it either. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to because, all of, listen, if my house looks the same as your house and we've got for years and all of a sudden I do my house up, well, you've got two choices to make your house look good. You can either spend the time and effort to do your house up or you can blow mine up. You blow mine up, your, your house looks amazing. Now most people just blow your house up. That's what they do. They see you getting away like somebody stops smoking and you're smoking together. One person stops and then they will try and get you back. Not because they're horrible people, they don't want to be the last person left on the sinking ship. You become your, more successful, however you gauge that, it's just a reminder to them of, of what they perceive as they're not being successful. It's all nonsense, but that's how they perceive it.